What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Love Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and this is Taya. And today we are on Titans, Season 3, Episode 2, Red Hood. So we know this is Jason Todd. This is his episode. I don't know if they're going to include the whole Raj al Ghul resurrecting him thing in this, but they said he was dead. So, I mean, I don't know how they would cheat around that story, but it'll be interesting because, you know, Bruce Wayne just left, so who is he going to take this out on? I mean, Dick and them, is he going to blame them mostly, or, like, what? I wonder, like, what his motive would be. Like, I'm kind of interested to see how Titans put a twist on this story. Um, but first episode was good, so we're going to see what they got for us this one. Uh, full and early reactions are available on Patreon. you want to do that just open the damn bag the fuck is he ain't playing with y'all open the fucking bag they sure don't the bag The nightmare's over. Any problems with cops or other masks, I take care of it from now on. It'll cost you 40% of what you make. And trust me, you're about to make a lot more. Fuck. Stop playing with the man. He's serious. <laughs> they say, yeah, fuck that. I'm done. Got it. But where was these reflexes when Joker was behind me with the crowbar? Just saying. All of a sudden, you got reflexes now. Now, one could argue it's probably because of the drugs. Delayed his response, but still. I don't exactly say he's in the right state of mind anyway. Is that Hank? Not him being a bicycle cop. Superhero got it. Yeah. He practically delivered himself to me. You wanna grab a coffee? I I have a lunch. Oh yeah, yeah. Boat salesman. The broker. Um I'll be around if you need me. I think that at least she looks a lot happier. Because their relationship was Always toxic. Will. Yeah, so clearly Dick Grayson isn't a wanted man. Can I help you? Dick Grayson? Yeah, I know. You picked a nice time for a reunion. And you are? Thanks, V. How are they not arresting him? I, that don't make sense. He broke out of prison after assaulting a TSA agent. twenty last night, Bruce's jet took off, changed IFR in midair. Nobody knows where he touched down, except maybe you. <laughs> I wish I did. What happened? I was asleep. Bruce came into my room and dropped a bloody crowbar on the floor. I said it was over with him and the Joker that he ended. Then he said he was done with Gotham. The bat. All of it. So that's it. No note. Marching orders. He said, be a better Batman. That's some fucked up parent you just see. You know how crazy that is, right? Trying to step into your father's shoes. I do, Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> Are you any other headlines? I'm bringing in the Titans. To Gotham. Are you sure about that? 
I mean, this city could use a city of heroes. I should warn you, you're not in San Francisco. The city breeds a special class of criminal. People die here. Not just regular people. People like us. I don't want to lose anybody else. We know what we're up against. Your family will never let you do this alone. Can we see the bat suit? No. Uh, the Batmobile? Guys. <laughs> what? You made me ask. I did not. Snitch. Dick. There'll be enough time for all of that, but right now we need to focus on the task at hand. She asked for a lawyer? She hasn't said a word since we brought her in. She just brought this note. Asking to talk to Nightwing. A red hood. Red hood. Joker started out his career wearing one. Think it might be related? I hope not. Don't tell me it's a bomb. The red hood you were wearing. You're gonna make sure she has a joker. Inside her. Why do you want to talk to me? Mm-mm. There's a whole bomb in her arm. Who did that to you? Am I supposed to call that? It's gonna activate the bomb. You okay? Or it's just gonna kill her right in front of him. twisted ass game right now I don't even know what this shit is you going for the titans boy I think he wanted to rule this city and because they're coming now he's gonna go for them I think otherwise he would have left them alone we found Anne's daughter wandering around the bus station an hour ago also wearing a red hood she says some strange man in a mask snatched her out of bed the woman had a subdural drug delivery system in her arm our guide said it was some sort of flak of derivation nuclear bath salts they juiced her with some serious chemical strength chemicals and pharmacology choice of science background maybe some chemicals before he died and all that narrows it down a few hundred thousand probably with a mental health issue too it might help narrow the profile yep all fits jason for cases like these we've been using a consultant the profiler and we've gotten good results but you're not gonna like it scarecrow what Told you you wouldn't like it. You know, Batman put him in Arkham years ago for a reason. Well, he's still there. He's just helping us out on the side. This is nuts. You're taking advice from a fucking crazy person. It was Bruce's idea. You know, one of the things that's interesting to me too is in Under the Red Hood, the movie, um, Jason was mad because Batman didn't kill Joker. You know, he said, if he would have did that to you, I would have killed him. But now in this version, Batman did kill him, so. That's like an interesting thing to me. Like, how, now how does this version differ now that Batman did actually kill Joker for it to avenge Jason? Mm -hmm. Clearly doesn't change anything, but I'm just saying. I need to figure out what's going on with her and why she blacking out. This happened to her. Insane. This must be how she Batman's got her powers. Actual books. <laughs> like way back on Tamara. Red book by Carl. Oh, hey, 
Hey, Corey, you gotta check this out. It's so fast in the girl, you wanna wait for me. Now you never fish. That in the loop in the work, that not this. That in the loop in the So fast in the girl, you wanna wait for me. Corey? Somebody might want to check on that. Corey, talk to me. You think this is how she lost her memory? Because something happens to her and causes her to... Because remember, she came to Earth, she lost her memories. Last season, she lost her powers. Now, she's losing her mind. I don't know. Just saying. Please tell me that was a grease fire. Famous star fire finally returns a call. Sorry, Justin. That's been a rat. We had a death in the family. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez. Anything I can do? Blacking out in the middle of the day and torching the walls. How does that sound? I believe he's like a type of either uh, a therapist. Right? Yeah. That kind of. I'm sorry, Tom. You're right. What you describe sounds like a violent parasomnia episode. That's usually when our subconscious is knocking, saying, yo, something's not right down here. So I'm nuts. Yeah, like the rest of us. If it happens again, call me. Uh, maybe I can prescribe something. Thanks. And if it doesn't happen again, then call me anyway. What's up? He's on the end. Only one down here. Well, if he has been working with the police, he um, yes. been getting a lot of visitors, so they probably want to put him in a safer wing, you know. Doctor Crane, somebody installed a subdermal drug pump in her arm. Yeah, Barb sent over a cheat sheet. The vicious little fucker, this one. Although, if we're being honest, I mean, a subcutaneous drug pump. <laughs> That's too clever by half. Gotta give him an A plus for originality, though. The victim was a mother. Afraid of losing her child. So afraid, in fact, she murdered four strangers. My best guess, and it's just a guess, is that uh, he somehow knows who this Nightwing character really is, and he has some sort of jealousy complex. That makes sense. That's it. That's it. Maybe he has a background in explosives, or military construction, maybe just an internet mook. Okay. The bird's opening. What? It's the bird's opening. It's one of the oldest known openings in chess. It was made famous in 1855 by Henry Edward Bird. It's a classic King Pawn opening. The two are connected, relying on each other. The king moves stealthily in the shadows while the pawns are sent into the teeth of destruction so that he may advance. And you got all that from the police cheat sheet? Yeah. The note, it's written on the back of a page, torn from a chess manual. A D5. Jason wasn't all this smart from what Dick was explaining. Bishop G7. Bishop E2. So how does he just suddenly know all this? Castles. Castles. Well, then some kind of code? Must have been the same. It's the bird's open. Chess moves. Chess moves. I've been writing the piece and board numbers through the computer. Looking at all the combinations. The what? Telepathy. Telephone numbers and board numbers through the computer. Looking at all the combinations. Telephone number, bank accounts. Needle in a haystack. It's just weird, Jason died and then Redhead emerged immediately. Yeah. So it's like, dang, it wasn't even no time that passed. So like, Robin. how did he recover so Birds quickly? Robin. Just... That can't be random. Anne lived at 2289 Bluebird Way. Let's get a list of all the Gotham streets with bird names. There's five in Gotham. Bluebird, Condor Court, Finch Street, Falcon Way, and Eagle Crest. I'll see if the numbers correlate to the actual addresses and the addresses of the next victims. I pedaled as fast as I could. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Oh, About time, everybody. So we suiting up? Might want to go to these uh, streets. <laughs> Breaking the team to two. What the fuck? You just show up? No phone call? Phone call? You left me a message saying you were going out of town. Then I see the news. You were going to tell me you were here? <laughs> I don't have to tell you my every move. Oh, I guess I'm a little fuzzy on the rules. The rules are you do your thing, I do mine. Okay. Well, this is kind of my thing, too. Then I still want to suit up. Answer the call. You don't. It's not that simple. Putting on the hawk suit and not being together kind of sucked. They are hawk and uh... Are you planning on going back to D.C.? I don't know. 
you're gonna dove, I'm gonna hawk. He ain't gonna let her go out there alone. He likes her, she's just not sure if she likes her Let's anymore. go. We have work to do. Next time, send a text. But I mean, I understand where she comes from. They're, they're toxic. They're just bad for each other. But uh, hey, at least he's trying. Sometimes toxic people just don't deserve each other. I don't know. Connor called me and guard came with empty. We're too late. Hold on. Talk to me. Yeah, it's far. We've got a problem. Bank robbery in progress. Four armed men and hostages. We don't know how many. I wasn't going to call you, but they're all wearing red hoods. Yeah, I'm so connected. Let's go. They got the other four on the streets before they got there. It's too late. There, by the time they got the first clue, he was already moving and getting them. He's already probably on the third clue now. He's going to be keeping steps ahead of them. They have hostages, but they won't talk to us. We should know to It's not a bank robbery. Tell your men to pull back. Pull back? It's a setup, just like with Ann Williams. They've been forced into this. I think it's the same person behind it. So will we just pull back, wait for the man to start? No, I can go in there and talk to them. They're not criminals, they're parents. They think their children are in danger. Gar and Connor are searching with the kids right now. That's the leverage. We find them, this all goes away. Call your men off. Gar and Connor aren't the most brightest in the bunch, but okay. wrong, this is going to be a bloodbath. But beast, if he turns into yeah, an animal that can actually sniff and smell, like a bloodhound or something, he might can find them. Crypto might could, I don't know, but find like a sock or something. Stand down! Super smart. He too has a gun meant to contain, but remember, they're not professionals. They're scared. They may be on drugs, so don't be surprised if they're irrational. No sudden moves, no loud voices. Calm with the back. It's time. Do it. He has my son. He has our kids. Wait. Stand back. Easy. Everyone just relax. You don't have to do this. Look, we know somebody took your children and forced you into this. We're going to find them and bring them back to you safe and sound. But where would it? Where would you even start going? Okay. Call it in, Gar, or Connor. You found the kids. You're safe and sound. The kids are safe. We found them. But isn't there only three, or am I mistaken? Yeah, there was only three. Nobody needs to get hurt. This is over. No. It's not over. Not yet. Connor! There's people in the bank. They aren't the parents. Now it's over. Oh! God damn! It was a massive setup. They tried to take the Titans out. Corey's the only one I can see being all right from this. Jesus. I hope them suits held up, because wow. They walked out with $25 million and drove off with my men two blocks away. You practically gave them a police escort. We got played. I'm sorry, but it happens. Didn't happen with Batman. Be a better Batman, I believe, were the instructions, Dick. So whoever this is, this is exactly Ma what they want. Which is? I'm trying. There's trust between us. Well, they should have called first. That box was already checked. Those guys at the bank look like Perez's people. I find them, I find out who's running this show. The people who have sworn to defend Gotham will handle it. The ones in this building. I can't what were y'all gonna do? Y'all were gonna go in and get blown I up too. I down for you tonight. Nobody else could have convinced me to do that. It wasn't professional. Right. Keep it professional. Anything out of Sorry, we failed to check. The city is on edge, and it's my job to protect them, not yours. This is a police matter. 
She what tried to. What have you made it? I feel like she tried to take Bruce's advice when he said me and your father used to work, you know, as a team better together. I think she tried to do that with Dick and it just failed. But I, I don't, there's nothing else she could have done. Her, her hey, house would have gotten blown up. Right. What you eating? No, I don't know. My guard made it, I think. Some kind of meat thing. Don't eat nothing That's If that's Gar's food, it's probably tofu. That'll go with Barbara. She said she wants to keep it professional. The break up and work together thing is not for amateurs. <laughs> There's nothing going on between us. It was good to see the hawk today. Yeah, it felt good. Getting blown up. <laughs> they got some repair stuff. Stu, I wanted 40K for reconditioning. I'm a lady at a dry clean. I did it for a hundred bucks. Whatever you're ready. <laughs> Gotta take you know your time. The cheap you saw us. Mastered by the Russians. <laughs> you do know from another planet, right? Allegedly. Do you always get this way when you get competitive? By this way, I mean it's insane. I'm problem solving. Birds opening, the answer's right in front of us. It's hidden in plain sight. He did it because he thought the Russians were trying to beat him. It was a defensive move. We're looking at this the wrong way. The answer isn't figuring out more of Bird's opening moves, it's how we beat it. Connor, okay, guard. top five defensive moves against Bird's opening. I wouldn't. He's on a roll. Fromm's Gambit, <laughs> uh, the modern defense, uh, Fianchetto, Fianchetto, Hobbs Gambit, Hobbs, unsound but nonetheless interesting and uncommon. No, not that. Hobbs Powder Group. They used to make explosives. Batman and I shut them down for street dealing. There's a 911 call two minutes ago, coming from the Hobbs building. Told me this woman into a building. She was screaming. Here they gone. Where are you? Outside the Hobbs building. They took her inside. He hung over his head. A red hood. Here we go. Call. He's leading him into a trap. Call Barbara. Mm. I don't think she's taking my calls. Yeah. We have to stop those cops. Yeah. See that? Let's get this white strips. I'm I'm loving the writing this season. Like I feel like it's so good. It has such a different feel this season. I love it. What the? Hey there. Who's the Huh? More like the wall walking into you. Yeah. <laughs> we got here as soon as I could. Thought I was gonna have to hide with Skyrun. Nice work on the chess clue, though. Wasn't me. I have my team working on it. Looks like you had a team, too. They were expendable. Just like the Titans. Who are you? The one they'll run to when you let them down? Gotham. It's mine now. Yeah, that's what they all say. We'll see you both. Yes! <laughs> Oh, you know the truth. Outgun, outman. Yeah. Just throw in the towel and I promise I'm gentle. Oh. Nice. So we can get in close. Smart. Slow motion right here too. So it's not like just fast paced fighting that I can't really see. Oh he knocked a piece of the mask off. Yeah. Bruce always told me you were better than me with the toys. 
Jesus and living water. I got a new name now, though. You'll be hearing the lot around here. Well, <laughs> Fast this season. Ain't wasting no time. That he's broken. I mean, he is. This is a damaged individual. But like I said, I still have some questions. Like, how how did he recover so quickly? He doesn't look like somebody who was just beaten with a crowbar. Right? He looked like he just woke up. Like, happily. Yeah, this is a completely like a story. Like, I've never seen a version of Redhead that didn't have that involved directly, like Batman. So, like. I'm not super like knowledgeable about the character other than like the animated movies I've seen. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see how they're gonna play this out. I don't really know that I have any predictions just yet. I mean, he wants to take over Gotham, but why? There's obviously, there's always a why. I mean, I understand Titans are in his way, but I don't think he's making this personal. You know what I mean? I think he's just, it just happens that they're here he knows them very well, and he knows how to mind fuck them, basically. So, I don't know. It'll be an interesting battle. I just don't, I don't remember Jason being that smart. Like, that's why I'm like, something's going on with him. Like, mm -hmm. he was reading chemistry, and because like Dick was like, he barely used to read at all. Like, he was always just somebody who was carefree, didn't really care. Like, I just, I, I wonder how he got so smart. Now he's making chess moves and reading old books about how to play chess and then coming up with schemes to rob banks and take hostages. And it's like sudden, like you just got taken down by the Joker, like, and didn't even put up a fight. Like and now you you're back with prodigy. Like, what? Yeah. Like you, you're like this whole new reborn and you're just able to take on the Titans and Nightwing and outsmart everybody, beat everybody in the fight, take down heads. Like, what? But the Joker is not even somebody that's like big on hand to hand combat. He's just crazy and does the unthinkable. But now he does not even he just like does he, whatever he wants. Yeah, but it's not even like the Joker did anything special to to throw him off guard. He just came behind him and knocked him out. Like you're telling me you're just like the next day you're just I guess good. He knocked some common sense. Well, not common sense because he's better than Gotham. But, mm, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what's up with him. I, we we really got a lot to but learn. He's smarter now, so I guess kind of did knock some common sense. Yeah, I, I'm curious about what what we don't know about him, like yeah. what, like what, what we don't know. What happened in those two hour eight uh, two hour gap? Yeah, that he died <laughs> and was reborn to redhead and terrorized. Two hours. Place. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah. Uh. And I'm, I and I kind of want to know how he feels about Bruce killing Joker. Cause that was a big thing in the Under the Red Hood movie that I remember specifically, like the one where we get to choose options. No, 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 no. This was like the first one, like before the the one the one you we watched with where you can choose was Batman Death in the Family, but there was one before that that the, the whole thing was based off of, oh. and he had a line where he said, um, you know, he was playing the Red Hood game and he was waiting for Batman to figure it out that he was Jason Todd, but he was resurrected by Raj al Ghul and all that so it took a little longer for Batman to figure it out but um he got to a moment where he kidnapped Joker and he was going to kill Joker but he he was trying to get Batman to do it because he didn't understand why Batman left him alive to continuously keep doing this to people yeah but I think the other difference is too like on this version versus the under the red hood like commissioner's dead Alfred's dead Bat, you know what happened to Batgirl like there's been a lot piling on this version of Bruce and then Bat you know Barbara was pressuring him you know it was just a lot this this version of Batman is truly screwed up like in the head and I understand 
Um, I'm kind of glad they're putting their twist on it. They're not making it like basic, like the story we already know. They're really, you know, doing something completely different. And I'm digging it so far. I love the way this episode was written, how it visually looked. I love that they're working as an actual team and they're going out in their suits as opposed to last season. They kept fighting in like civilian clothing. And I'm like, um, again, I, there's still some plot holes for me. Like what, you know, how are these they're not wanted criminals? Like that's just not making sense. Dick is just going into police stations. I get this controlled by Barbara, but I'm just saying like, how Wait, is- Anybody can search up what you're doing. He, I'm sure he was on the news. Like, I don't know. That just don't... Because I, I need somebody to explain that to me because I just don't get it. And then um, we still got Corey's story to dive into. You know, there's still... I mean, I don't know. There's still a lot to do, is all she's to say. You know, we haven't even gotten to each character's storyline yet. We haven't seen Rachel yet and what she's been doing. I'm, I'm kind of itching to see what Raven's up to. And... Um, is there anybody else we're missing besides Rachel and Donna? I think everybody else is around now. Um, but we'll see. Um, so we're going to move on to the third episode. So be sure to let us know what you guys thought. Be sure to comment, share, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel for more interaction. And we will see you guys on the next one. Bye.